Hi guys, my name is Minhajuddin Ansari and you're watching another tutorial on C programming and in this tutorial I will be talking about buffers. So in my previous tutorial I talked about streams and streams were simply pointers to a file structure and that file structure contained all the information that was needed to extract information from a file or to store information into a file. So I mean there is another concept and that concept is called a buffer so your keyboard is an external file and your program resides inside your main memory so when you press a key from your keyboard when you try to enter a character from your keyboard into your program that will take a lot of time because that character has to travel from an external file into your program so this can be time consuming and if your program needs that character rapidly that might cause lags similarly when your program is printing a character onto your display screen so again since the display screen is an external file so it will take a lot of time for for example this character a to travel from your program into your external file so that your display screen can display that character A. So in order to solve this issue, buffers were introduced. And buffer is simply a small area inside your main memory, inside your RAM. And that area is responsible for storing information before, sent, before that information is sent to your program and storing the information before that information is sent into your external file or your external devices. So let me show you what I mean. I mean, they, first of all, there are different types of buffers. There is a line buffer, there is a full buffer, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about line buffers. So suppose this is your keyboard right here, and you want to enter some information into your program. So you're going to type the information. For example, I type A, B, C, one, two, nine, and underscore five exclamation mark and then i press the enter key after typing all this information so what will happen is that as long as i'm typing these characters from the keyboard so these characters will be stored inside the buffer and as soon as i press the enter key these characters will be transported from the buffer into your program and now keep in mind that the buffer is also inside the main memory so the time it will take for those characters to transport from the buffer into your program will be very very less compared to the time it will take for those characters to travel from your external file which is your keyboard into your program so this is very convenient because the buffer i mean with the help of buffer all these characters are instantly available to your program so as soon as the buffer encounters a new line it sends all these characters directly into your program but in the previous case if there was no buffer then what would happen is that as soon as i press the enter as soon as i press the character a it would take a lot of time to reach the program and then similarly after a i would press b and then this would take a lot of time to reach the program and then i would press c and this would take a lot of time to reach the program and then i would press one and this would take a lot of time to reach the program so this will i mean this will cause lag if your program needs all those characters instantly it will cause problems because all these characters will travel slowly one by one into your program and this will cause delays so it is much better to store all these characters or values inside a buffer and then when your program needs it it can instantly access those values and characters from the buffer and and since the buffer is line buffer that means it will store characters and values up till the new line and then once the new line is pressed from the keyboard all these characters and values will be directly sent into your program and then the next batch or the next block of characters and values will be stored inside your buffer similarly if you want to display the characters and values in the output screen a buffer is used 
because if you display the characters one by one like a b c this will take a lot of time this will cause lag so in order to make the output instantly available to the external file again all these characters are stored into your buffer until the new line and from the buffer those characters are sent to the output screen to your uh, output uh, display screen so this is how buffers work and in my previous tutorial i talked about streams and i said that streams are simply pointers to a file structure and your file structure contains all the information needed to input and output from a file to all the information needed to input and output from a file so the file structure also contains pointer to the buffer because your buffer lies in the main memory so the file structure also contains a pointer that points to the buffer and the program uses that uh, member that member of your file structure it uses that pointer inside your file structure to access characters from the buffer and store them inside the program variables so i mean this is why the file structure is like i was saying in my previous tutorial it's like a complete package it contains all the information on how to extract data from your file how to store data from your file and the addresses of your buffers and whatever whatever that is needed to perform input and output on files so i mean yeah so the pointer to your buffer is also included inside the file structure so this is all it about buffers if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section and you might be wondering that what is included in this file structure well you can search it on the internet as well but just for abstract purposes just to keep it as simple as possible i mean a file structure is simply a structural that makes it possible to enter data into a file and to extract data from a file so if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section and thanks for watching this video